Two years ago, if you had told us that we would be competing in a second round with Kirshnerism for the presidency of the nation, we would not have believed it. We are truly facing a historic event. Millet and Massa will face off in a second round November 19th. It's a surprising turn of events for Massa, who many had written off as a continuation of the left-wing Kirchner populism that has dominated Argentine politics for two decades. Few had expected that he would win the day with more than a third of the almost 25 million votes cast. In his victory speech, Massa reached out to the third of voters who voted for neither him nor Millet. He said that he is the candidate that can create a government for everyone. A national unity government made up of the best, regardless of their political affiliation, and not based on party agreements. The largest block of voters up for grabs are supporters of the third major candidate, conservative former security minister Patricia Bullrich. They represent a challenge for Massa, as many of her right-wing voters may migrate to Millet. In her concession speech, Bullrich took shots at Massa. Populism has impoverished the country. I will not congratulate who comes back to power, who has been part of the worst government in Argentina's history. The indecisive result leaves Argentina poised for another month of profound uncertainty while it deals with extreme economic turbulence.